In our previous video, we looked at the AVL signal chain and how people have thought of it as three separate systems, rather than looking at the entire integrated signal chain of audio, video, and lighting. Now let's see what's actually involved with transmitting audio and video from source to destination, tying into lighting and controlling everything with interfaces and automation. It's a complex system, so we'll take it step by step. We start with audio and video sources. Live audio is picked up by microphones, whereas audio and video from cameras, recordings, media servers, PCs, etc. come into the system in a variety of different ways, depending on the application. Some of these devices only output audio, some only output video, and some output both. But all of it ends up in the Harman Complete System solution. Once in the system, the audio and video goes through processing. This can happen at the beginning or end of the process, or both, and ensures that both the audio and video are optimized and ready for output. For audio, raw sound from microphones and instruments is processed to sound its best, and audio outputs are optimized to sound great in each and every room. Audio processing includes mixing multiple signals together, adjusting levels and equalization, adding delays and reverb, and more. Video signals also go through processing, with scaling done to ensure the video is as close to the source signal as possible while looking perfect on every display. This scaling accounts for resolution, aspect ratio, frame rate, color space, interlacing, and a variety of other things. Video can also be processed by an LED lighting system that breaks the video down and maps individual pixels to individual LED diodes across multiple lighting fixtures in an installation. For audio, video, and lighting signals to reach their final output destinations, they need to be distributed. AVL distribution sends the signals wherever they need to go. Historically, these have used dedicated, specially designed hardware with proprietary architecture, but today they are increasingly deployed over the network, which allows for infinite scalability across a facility, campus, or the world. This leads us to the final stage, which is output. Audio signals are routed to amplifiers, which boost the signal for output by the speakers. Audio and video signals are routed to displays, such as televisions or projectors. Lighting signals are routed to LED video lighting fixtures. There are also architectural lighting fixtures, such as washes, gobos, and creative moving effects. Of course, the system is missing a vital piece. How do we tell the system what to do? We'll find out in the next video.